Today, we explore the enchanting world of A Midsummer Night's Dream, a classic comedy by William Shakespeare. Written in the late 16th century, this play combines elements of love, magic, and mischief, set against the backdrop of a mystical forest. As we unfold the narrative, we'll navigate through its intricate plot, examine its characters, and analyze the thematic elements that have captivated audiences for centuries. A Midsummer Night's Dream is set in Athens and a nearby enchanted forest, populated by fairies. The narrative weaves together several interconnected plots involving the adventures of two pairs of lovers, the preparations of a group of amateur actors for a royal wedding, and the antics of the fairy kingdom. The play begins with Theseus, the Duke of Athens, preparing to marry Hippolyta, the Queen of the Amazons. Amidst these preparations, Aegis enters with his daughter, Hermia, along with Lysander and Demetrius. Aegis demands that Hermia marry Demetrius, though she is in love with Lysander. Theseus gives Hermia a stark choice, marry Demetrius, face death, or become a nun. Hermia and Lysander plan to elope, confiding in Hermia's friend Helena, who is hopelessly in love with Demetrius. Hoping to gain Demetrius' affection, Helena decides to inform him of Hermia and Lysander's plan. The scene shifts to the enchanted forest, where Oberon, the king of the fairies, and Titania, the queen, are embroiled in a dispute. Oberon seeks revenge and instructs his mischievous servant, Puck, to use a magical flower that causes one to fall in love with the first creature they see upon waking. Oberon's plan is to use this flower on Titania and simultaneously resolve the lover's predicament. Meanwhile, a group of amateur actors, led by Bottom the Weaver, are rehearsing a play they hope to perform for Theseus's wedding. In the forest, Puck transforms Bottom's head into that of a donkey, causing the other actors to flee in terror. Titania, under the influence of the magical flower, awakens to behold Bottom and immediately falls in love with him. Puck, attempting to fix the lover's situation, mistakenly administers the love potion to Lysander instead of Demetrius, causing Lysander to fall in love with Helena. This creates a chaotic love triangle, or rather, a love square, when Demetrius, also affected by the potion, falls for Helena as well. The once disinterested Helena finds herself pursued by both Lysander and Demetrius, leading to confusion and conflict among the four. Oberon, witnessing the confusion, orders Puck to correct his mistakes. Puck applies an antidote to Lysander, restoring his love for Hermia, while leaving Demetrius in love with Helena finally harmonizing the lovers' relationships. As dawn approaches, Theseus and Hippolyta discover the lovers in the forest, and learning of their desires, Theseus overrules Aegeus's demands, allowing the pairs to marry alongside him and Hippolyta. Titania, freed from the spell, reconciles with Oberon. The play concludes with the triple wedding in Athens, where the amateur actors perform their play, a tragic comedy about Pyramus and Thisp, much to the amusement of the newlyweds, the play within a play is hilariously bad, providing a humorous counterpoint to the romantic entanglements of the main plot. A Midsummer Night's Dream masterfully intertwines themes of love, identity, and transformation. Shakespeare explores the irrational nature of love, portraying it as a powerful force that can lead to confusion and change. The use of the love potion serves as a metaphor for love's unpredictable and often uncontrollable effects. The play also delves into the theme of reality versus illusion. The enchanted forest represents a world where the normal rules of society do not apply, allowing characters to explore different facets of their identities. This setting enables Shakespeare to question the nature of reality, suggesting that our perceptions are easily altered by love and desire. Furthermore, Shakespeare employs the motive of transformation to highlight the play's exploration of change and identity. The transformation of Bottom into a donkey and the character's shifting affections exemplify the fluidity of identity and the potential for change within everyone. Lastly, A Midsummer Night's Dream reflects on the nature of art and theater itself. The play within a play performed by the amateur actors serves as a humorous commentary on theatrical production and the suspension of disbelief required by audiences. Shakespeare celebrates the power of imagination and the role of theater in exploring human experiences. In summary, A Midsummer Night's Dream stands as a testament to William Shakespeare's genius in crafting narratives that explore the complexities of love, identity, and art. Through its intricate plot, rich characterizations, and timeless themes, the play continues to resonate with audiences around the world. 
whether it's the enchanting allure of the fairy kingdom, the comedic follies of love-stricken mortals, or the playful satire of amateur theatrix, this work captivates the imagination and delights the spirit. We invite you to immerse yourself in the magic of Shakespeare's world, to reflect on the play's themes, and to appreciate its enduring beauty. If you found this summary insightful, please consider subscribing to our channel for more literary explorations. Thank you for joining us on this journey through A Midsummer Night's Dream.